Hey guys, welcome back. It is Watch Us Homeschool Wednesday. I am Laura Wilkie with Down Home with Lemon Pie, and I am a Christian homeschool mama with seven little ones. We are just done with our Christmas break, our long Christmas break. We did all kinds of good things, and I shared them with you guys in a lot of videos. So go back and check them out if you are interested in seeing all the things that we did and all the things we talked about. We talked about the 12 days of Christmas from a Christian perspective, what the words mean. Um, I showed you all the fun things. I showed you our family Grinch night, just all the fun things. So go back if you need to see all of that, if that's interesting at all to you guys. They are in our different um, folders on our playlist and especially our Christmas one. Now, as we are getting ready to start back, um, of course, we're doing some fun sledding and we have our oldest turning 12 and what a blessing. So we normally in our family do sprinkles pancakes for the kiddo whose birthday it is. So seven kids, we do this seven times a year and we are doing waffles today. We are sampling to see how they turn out and they turned out really well. Look at this. So I'm excited for that. Um, the kids have been begging for waffles. So birthday girl was excited to get some fun waffles today. Yay for that. So if you saw my old fashioned Christmas traditions video, you saw that we are coming up to day of epiphany, three Kings day. It just so happens to fall exactly on my oldest daughter's birthday. So we did both. And for three Kings day, um, it's the day that you celebrate the three wise men and their arrival. You put something like this. This is a bead wrapped in foil in the cake and the person who finds wall? it, um, which was this there guy right is. here, gets to be the king for the day. We did a little bit different and um, the kids wanted to have three kings because we have so many kiddos. So we did that as well. Super fun. Just a fun way to extend that holiday and um, an old fashioned way to get that. Make sure that you're keeping the, um, you know, spirit of Christmas with Christ centered. I am just getting all of our planning ready. I talked about this, guys, in our um, back to school video. I did talk about this. I will link it below, but it is just some great tips if you are trying to get back into the groove after a long break, whether it be Christmas or summer or what have you, it can be challenging. So. Here I am, I'm working on planning. I am making sure to write down the things that I really want to work on. Not necessarily all the book work, but some of the fun stuff too. And some things that I really want us to focus on. And I do not, I talked about this in my New Year's goals, resolutions video. I really want to start trying to just make it a habit of laughing more in our normal day-to-day -day life. So that is written on there too, just as a little sweet reminder to myself to just find the, um, you know, the happiness and the joy in every single day, even the hard days, even the days when it just feels like you are in the trenches um, to find that joy. So this is our calendar. I'm starting to get it all filled in. Things are coming up already. And this is our week for the upcoming first week, official week back. We've been kind of easing in, like I talked about in a previous video about beating the January blahs. I talked about easing in. I talked about adding in a review day, being very intentional about that. So that is mostly Monday, but also the past few days that we've been working on pre prior to this. And I'm just putting in our goals and things that I want us to complete each day. Now, as you'll see later, not necessarily if it's written on that day, does it get completed on that day? It's just kind of my guide to help me stay focused. Do not let mamas, do not let your homeschool, um, planner or schedule or what have you um, be the boss of your life you know life happens things are going to come up 
do not let your planner be the end all be all. If something comes up, it is okay to move an activity or um, a lesson to another day or to skip it all together or a new week or what have you. Um, you're, you this is your homeschool. You don't need to let it just be your, your boss. So that is something that was hard for me in the beginning. And I have done so much better with that in recent years. And I just want to pass that on. That's one of the things that um, I wish other homeschool mamas had told me instead of just feeling like everything has to get done on the day it's written down. You know what? I write it in pencil for a reason. And you'll see later how I do my um, checking off things but um, with a highlighter. And you'll see what I'm talking about in just a few minutes. But let's get started with our week. We're going to ease in to this week. And I'm going to show you clips of our days. This is my, he's actually in first grade, but we are easing into, um, back into our routine. So we are just practicing the days of the week, putting them in order. I've got a big kid assigned to him. Um, normally I would do this with him, but because I wanted to show you guys how this looks, I did assign him a little big kid to um, help so that I could film and show you guys what I was talking about. These are the little people that I made from one of my homeschool curriculums that I actually created for myself. And I also offer it for sale, but each person is color coded and has the day of the week on it. And so he's putting them in order. Super cute, super fun, hands on way to learn. And we're writing our numbers on these dry erase cards. I actually got these on book outlet and they are Usborne, but I found them on Book Outlet. So I will link Book Outlet below if you guys have not tried it yet. If you use the link below, you do get a discount. So that is a great savings. But these are dry erase cards. And on one side, they have um, ordinal numbers. So like the numbers in order. And then on the other side, they have them like this, where you can also do them by tens. Um, I really like these. I like that I can assign him, Hey, you know, several ways to do it. So this is working well for us. And we're doing some reading. You can see the house is still a little bit messy. I showed you guys where I was cleaning and organizing my cabinets, but of course, the, um, the rooms are a little messy. My four-year-old twins are back there playing um, close enough where I can hear them and know what they're up to, but not so close that, you know, they're being a distraction. So that's an easy way to do that. Sometimes people ask, how do you do it all? This is how we do it. Sometimes the house falls apart. We are starting back this winter with our typing lessons. It's been a little while since we've done our typing lessons. We had a little keyboard um, issue and it wasn't working quite like I would have hoped. So that is um, fixed up now and we're ready to go. So that's why we're getting back into our keyboard typing lessons. Yay. We're getting back into our geography lessons. I absolutely love this book. Um, I don't think I'm showing you the cover of it at all in this video, but this is a fantastic book about um, geography and it references God and I will link it below, but it is also in my curriculum video if you want to see it there. I think I talk about it more in depth. So this is my schedule. Each day I go through with a highlighter. So Monday we did pink and it's now Tuesday is green and I cross off as we complete the lessons. So the girls are just doing some light copy work here. Um, I got my four year old, they're enjoying some oatmeal as well. And I've got a little one here working on reading eggs. We did subscribe to their um, app, so it doesn't have ads or anything. And it's not not really cheap. I will to point that out. But um, I did think it was worth it because I can use it with three of my little ones. They enjoy it. And, um, you know, when, when you've got this many, it's nice to have a little backup that is like that. So I am not one of those mamas who will harp on you for using technology. If you can use it in a way that helps, I think it is, um, it's good. So that's what we're doing. Here's another clip. You can see how we are crossing things off and you can see the difference. Some things got done on a different day than the day I originally intended. And mamas, that is okay. Do not let that bother you. Um, that's just life. That's just life. You got to learn to roll with the punches and so do the kids. Um, here's Black Bear. This is our little kitty and he has been doing great joining us for homeschool. So yay. <laughs> 
Now, we did find some deer tracks in the snow. That was an unexpected um, homeschool lesson, I guess, was learning about these deer tracks and seeing what they look like. I am so excited to go do this some more. Um, that was just a kind of a mishap. We didn't actually intend for that, but it was a fun thing we saw while we were walking the dog. All right, guys, thanks for joining me. Stay tuned. Come back on Friday for Homeschool Fellowship Friday. We're going to talk about some books, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.